require a $25 registration fee and are given out at a first-come, first-served basis. The community garden sits inside Jeffers Park. A new 17-member board has now been named to oversee tornado recovery right here in the Miami Valley. The Disaster Recovery Leadership Board is made up of community leaders and several organizations as well as members of the public. It will oversee the Miami Valley Long-Term Recovery Operations Group. That group helps people get assistance from local and public agencies. 16, 42 degrees, and this time yesterday, Kayla had her umbrella yes. sideways, and it was yeah. pelting her yeah, with rain. The rain not doing any favors yesterday. The good news, not dealing with that at the moment. Let's check in with Storm Center 7 meteorologist Kirsty Zantini. Good morning. That's why I was talking to you guys earlier. This is going to be one of our low weather impact days, so you do not have to worry about heavy downpours and showers like what we dealt with yesterday morning out on the roads. You get pretty quiet forecast, to be honest, today. We will hold on to a lot of cloud cover, and we could see a little drizzle, maybe a stray rain shower, but that's going to be about it for our day. And the best chance for that is going to be the morning through about midday or so. Your afternoon commute will just be mostly cloudy. And you can see we do get into the mid-50s again. So even with the cloud cover, we are still on that warmer than normal track here for March. Looking at live in Salina, you can see a little bit of reduced visibility. We did have some spotty fog try to get going up in the northern half of the Miami Valley. So I'm not going to rule out that you don't notice it looks maybe a little hazy as you head out the door. The big picture does show lots of clouds and you can see just a few stray showers in Indiana. We'll have that chance here in the Miami Valley. Maybe that stray shower that's down towards Connersville if it lives on and moves east, you'll see that. We've got just a few very weak returns in spots. So that means a little bit of drizzle could be trying to develop as well. We're sitting at 37 degrees in Wapakoneta, 39 in Bell Fountain, and 42 in Dayton. So no matter where you are this morning, it is going to feel cool to the kids at the bus stop. And with a little bit of that drizzle out there, you will want maybe a jacket with a hood today as you're heading out the door if you walk the dog before work. Just keep that in mind. But t-shirts and jeans this afternoon will be just fine. We're going to hit into the mid-50s across pretty much the entire Miami Valley. We'll hit 55 in Eaton, 53 in Urbana and Salina, 56 degrees for Kettering. Future cast does show you can see that stray shower possible over the next few hours, but a lot of this is just going to be a cloudy day for you. Later tonight, we hold on to those clouds and that will help to keep our temperatures in the 40s. And then as we head for tomorrow, we will be tracking another chance here for some rain. Now, most of Thursday is going to be completely dry. You can see at 1.30, we might even see a few breaks in the clouds. But as we turn into Thursday night, that window will open up for some thunderstorms to develop. Now, a lot of us here in the Miami Valley will likely see some downpours, maybe hear a rumble of thunder. But we will watch the overnight time frame to see if we could get maybe an isolated strong storm to develop. You can see by Friday morning, here's 5 a.m., we're already back to dry weather. So for tomorrow, Tomorrow, 62 degrees, really mild. Morning through afternoon looks good. We'll just be watching the evening hours for that potential here for not only some showers, but a little bit of thunderstorm development. Now, the good news, it does look like the best ingredients for any strong to severe storms will likely stay well to our south, but we are going to just keep an eye on things, especially as we go through the afternoon tomorrow, maybe get a little bit of sunshine. So that's what we'll be watching for you. And then just when you think we're dealing with maybe some spring thunderstorms and that's it for us, we're back to spring weather, we do have to deal with another storm this weekend, and that one will actually bring the potential for rain and snow showers on Saturday night. Now, you may not want to hear the potential for some snow showers in March, but indeed, we could see it here in the Miami Valley. I did look back. The latest we've ever had measurable snow, which is a tenth of an inch or more, is actually back in May. We had a tenth of an inch that fell May 9th in 1923, and for March snows, the most we've ever had on record for the month is 26 inches. So if we get maybe a few snow showers this weekend. Think about it. Not that bad compared to 1906 when we had 26 inches that fell. Your five-day forecast overall, even with that dip in our temperatures for our storm on Saturday, we're still going to stay a little bit milder even at the end of the weekend. And Sunday does look beautiful. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's get a check on the roads this morning with Sergeant Mark. Good morning, Sarge. And good morning again to you, Kirsty. Well, Wednesday morning drive has been a good one so far. We've had good road conditions here is a live shot of downtown Dayton, Interstate 75. This is the camera <clears throat> by the Art Institute. And we're looking at uh, decent conditions here. Also, I uh, looked at travel times on eastbound 70 from Route 127 in Preble County. 23-mile drive over to Interstate 75 right now is taking 22 minutes. 
I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer in WHIO Triple Team Traffic. Well, now is a good time to download the free WHIO weather app before you head out the door. You can follow along with our team of Storm Center 7 meteorologists and keep track of weather events headed our way with live Doppler 7 radar. Just search WHIO weather in your app store. It is 520, 42 degrees. Big changes coming to downtown Dayton. Why one business owner says it's been more than 20 years in the making. Also, big changes coming to one particular downtown building. What you can expect to see at Dayton's tallest building. Storm Tracker 7, the mobile weather center that allows our team of expert meteorologists to be anywhere in the community. Storm Center 7 is weather coverage you can count on.